everyone, my name is Zoe, if you guys don't know who I am, and my YouTube channel is called Kablumitik. So welcome today. We are going to be working on these bunnies since it's almost Easter. I'm not planning to sell these because that's not really what I'm my business about. So since I'm just making these for like families and for my son, I thought about doing a tutorial for you guys. If you guys don't know um, what these are, these are called Hoop Tech. They're from Hoop Tech, the company called Hoop Tech. So hey you guys, so we're on my laptop. Um, a lot of ladies ask about like having your own laptop. I suggest you do have a laptop just for um, your business or for like the software because software and the space, it takes a lot of space inside the computer. So this one is a MacBook Pro and it's the, I think 13 or 16 inch, probably 16 inch screen. No, it's actually 13, 14 inch around there. So yeah, so I suggest you get a laptop and I just like Mac, you can get any other kind that you want. I used to have a PC, but I changed to Mac and I love Mac. So anyways, I already typed out the name. Um, I measure about, like it should be about two inch tall by four inch um, long. Cause I want it to be sitting like around right here and I measure that and this look like it's about one inch, one inch tall and about three inch wide. So that's perfect. I could make it a little bit taller. Let me see if I go. I think this should be good. Because I don't want it to be so tiny too. One inch tall and three and a quarter inch long. So that's a perfect size for um, for the bunny ear. So anyways, I'm gonna use this USB and transfer it. I'm going to save it. I'm gonna save it as I'm just going to save it as a working file because I'm going to delete this after I'm done. Oh, no, I don't want to save it as a working file, as a stitch file. Working file is a .be file and it's like if you want to go back to fix the file when you're done. But since I don't need to fix it anymore, I'm already done fixing it. I'm just going to save it as a .ps so the importer machine can read that and importer it. Okay, now it's a solid red, so I can take it off. So that's it, you guys. That's how you um, put in a file to the USB and transfer it to your importer machine. Right there. It's right here. You guys can see this. But I need my um, USB to load. Somehow these USB are not loading properly. I think the USB is, I need to buy a new USB because it like these are not working. I probably have too much file on it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Finally decided to show up. Just drag it to the USB. And now it's in there. So make sure you eject it prop properly because last time I didn't, I just pulled this out. Uh, one of the, the USB is broken. So I wait until like the red light start shining like that. So you guys, so we're back at my um, embroidery machine. So this is a screen. We're just gonna place it in here. So I use this uh, extension cord right here because I don't want to ruin the the port. 
because I always take an off and on, so. So that's it. Um, I need to change the thread because I want to use a hot pink. I don't know if this pink would look good, but I want to use this hot pink on it. I think it'll look okay. So let me change the thread and then we're going to do a closer shot of how I'm going to put this on. So you guys, um, I'm going to use this scrap stabilizer and I already spent I'm going to use two tear away because this is about 3000 stitch count so it's not that high so I'm just going to use tear away and I'm going to double it up and I spray directly on this um, tear away instead of like on the hoop or on the bunny because I don't want any residue so I just spray a little bit on it and then let me bring this out again. So this is what you do, just put it in here. I'm going to clamp the bunny ear on because so I want the name just to let you guys see this. I want the name to start off like this. Her name is Melanie. So I want to start the M and going down this way. So I'm going to put, you can put it upside down, but you have to flip the design. But I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to try to lay it where I spray it. So these, these bunnies are a little bit tricky. They're so three-dimensional. Okay, so I'm going to take it off and then try to lay it flat. Make sure it's on the sticky. Okay, it's flat now. Put it back on. Oh, they're so tricky, you guys. Because <laughs> I don't want to float it. I want it to be clamped on. I think most people would float this if they have a or even a big needle like this, they were still floated. But me, I like to um, clamp everything down and you guys would do this with your uh, single needle. A lot of ladies do it with their single needle, but I just like my multi needle. So I don't know. I have a single needle too, but I haven't been using that one. I want to make sure I want to center it. Okay. Okay, so now it's a pretty flat surface. I'm going to use the trace feature to see where the name is that so the thread is on thread number two so I'm going to go to thread number two thread number two okay I gotta hurry up because this is getting low battery so thread number two and then I'm going to use the camera to see where the name's gonna be at. Okay, so the name is like hitting the frame, which is not good, so I have to move the name down. So it's actually on it. This is something that you need to check because the machine um, the embroidery machine does not read this frame. So 
the thing I like at a bullet like that. So this is good. Okay. So I'm gonna trace it. Feel like this name is a little bit tiny. Sure, went like one and a half inch. I don't know. I think that should be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna border it on it. I will put um, water soluble on it just to protect the penetration. Of the needle so the thread will sit on higher what I do this is I just lay on here I don't do anything just lay on there and then it's going to border lock and then in border Um, just to let you guys know that these springs are really easy to use if you're going to embroider a lot of um, makeup bags, like even bags or things that have pockets. It's super easy. And all you have to do is just lift a scrap piece of stabilizer like that. I'm pretty sure you guys have like all these extra little pieces of stabilizer. Um, you don't even have to use a sticky. I don't like the sticky stabilizer because, I don't know, that's just me. I, I just don't like to use them. That's why I bought these two, so I could avoid the, the use of the sticky uh, stabilizer. It's all done, you see? This name is really easy. I'm gonna take it off of the hoop. It's 
so you guys can see it's all done it's actually pretty tiny <laughs> but i think it, it should be okay and i will sew back up and show you guys a finished picture and then on this side i'm gonna put 2021 over here so yeah anyways you guys thanks for coming and watching my channel and i will be doing more tutorial on this machine and with different hoops so you guys can see um what these hoops can do if you guys want to see like ma those, those makeup pouches being bored on this i can do that next time too but i also been planning some like sewing tutorial later on so i will do embroidering and then some sewing tutorial so if you guys haven't subscribed please like and subscribe okay so if you guys have any questions about this hoop or anything else i'll leave it in the comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video take care you guys bye